About 10 years ago, I decided to start to make works in which color was heavily reduced or absent. Uh, you see there's some pink color of the cherry blossom trees in the exhibition, and there's a bit of color in the gravel and the stones. But you could say in general, it gives the impression of being a black and white world. And I, I love to employ this uh, as a form of trying to show the essence of what I want to say. If I execute everything in full color, ex uh, for example, when I would be making uh, human characters like kids or men or women, uh, it would be a sort of Madame Tussauds exercise, you know, to exercise a sort of or employ a sort of uh, hyper-realism, but that by itself to me is not so interesting. And I, I love that uh, my world appears a bit like um, as if everything is petrified and silenced down. You know, the first day that there is uh, snow uh, in the winter time and you open the window and you see this blanket of snow on the world, it silences down everything. And so I think the grey that I employ is also a sort of a soft velvet-like colour that silences down the world. And departing from this silence, I think I can speak more profoundly about life than when I were to make works that are about simulating reality. So I prefer to evoke atmospheres rather than simulating reality.